praise the lord it is a such a joy to be in the presence of the lord worshiping his name and lifting his name higher psalms 100 verses 1 it says make a joyful noise to the lord all he lands we have to make a joyful noise to the lord because he has sustained us he gave us strength to us to worship his name to lift his name and verse 4 it says enter its gates with thanksgiving and unto its court with praise so whenever we come into his presence as we enter into the church or wherever we worship as you enter into the presence of the lord we have to give thanks to the lord and whenever we come into his courts we have to praise him for what he is and worshiping the lord is not our duty or worshiping the lord is not our responsibility but it is an honor and it is a pleasure to worship the living god there are so many god in this universe the world but this is not pleasure to worship they don't have honor to worship them but the god we serve is a god of honor the god of hosts the god who created the heaven and the earth by the word who have created us in his own image so today we are going to worship him and give thanks to him shall we all look upon to the god and ask for help loving heavenly father we come into the mighty throne of grace lord we thank you for the things what you have done in our life as we come into your presence with thanksgiving and praise as we enter into your courts with praise as we make a joyful noise to the lord to you this morning may your name be honored may you increase and as we decrease your name be lifted high as we worship your word of god says where two or three gather in my name and i will be there lord come into our homes come into ourselves as we are our church come and bless us take all the controls in the jesus name we pray amen amen we're going to worship the lord and lift his name as we read psalms 100 verses 1 make a joyful noise to the lord today we're going to make a joyful noise for the things he has done come on let's worship his name and lift his name we're going to sing a song which is called i come before you today it says thank you lord for all the things that you have done in our life with an outstretched arm i will bless your name i come before you today and there's just one thing that I
Hosanna in the 
Praise the Lord. I bring greetings to you all in the matchless name of the Lord. Uh, today we are going to meditate his word. As we worship his name, we, make, we made a joyful noise to the Lord, giving thanks and uh, entering into his grace with praise. So this is the time to hear the word of God. And today we are going to see from the book of Psalm number 40, Verses 1, I waited patiently for the Lord and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. So today we are going to see patience. The subject we are going to meditate is patience. What happens when we wait for the Lord in patience? Many people don't have this patience. Whenever they come into the presence of the Lord, whenever they are in need of something, when the people come down and kneel, bow down their heads and ask for the Lord to help them, they all need everything as instant. Whenever, when they pray, they need every, Jesus to answer it instantly. They don't have patience. So when they get their answer, they are not coming back to this presence to give thanks and to make a joyful noise to the Lord. So your David says, I waited patiently for the Lord and he has inclined unto me and heard my cry. So the thing we have to learn from David is patience. He will back off the sheep in the wilderness and he had appointed as a king over Israel he waited as in a soul appointed David he did not directly went into the a kingdom 
told Saul that I am the new king, get out from here. No, he never did that. He just waited, wait patiently for the Lord. for his time that's what james chapter 5 verse 6 says you must also be patient keep hope in high for the day of the lord is coming near you must be patient patient to everything whatever things you are going through you must be patient your patience will not go in vain keep your hopes in high the high is here is the god who is about there he looks from the heaven he looks us from the heaven whether my children whether my beloveds are waiting patiently for me he says and sees and the day of the lord is near when the lord's day will come surely he will answer our prayer and he will guide us through that's what david says uh in the 40 psalms 40 verses 11 withhold not thy render mercy from me o lord let thy loving kindness and thy truth continuously preserve me here david says don't withhold your mercy your truth and your loving kindness if your mercy is not there i'm no more if your mercy is not there your loving kindness is not there man would come take over me man would come and put me to death man will come and end my life but when his mercy and his loving kindness is with us nobody can harm us that's what bible god says you are an apple of my eye nobody can touch as when we are an apple eye of god when we are an apple eye for god nobody is dead to touch when the satan comes when the enemy comes to trap us is not having dare to touch us he has no right to touch us our god will surely protect us the one thing we have to do is wait upon to the lord patiently that's what in isaiah chapter 40 it says those who wait upon the lord shall renew their strength they will strength will be renewed as an eagle they will fly high but not weary you want your strength to be renewed you want to fly high for the lord don't worry just wait in his presence just wait in the presence of the lord listening to the voice of god the day will come when lord's day will come he will surely answer your prayer you no need not to worry about anything need not to ask anything before you are asking god he knows your thought he knows your heart desire the one thing you have to do is wait patiently into the presence of lord that's what david says i waited patiently for the lord and he has inclined unto me and heard my cry when you wait upon the lord when god is inclined he will surely hear all your cries he will surely wipe away all the tears from your eyes he will set you free from your sin he will set you free from all the sickness all the bonds that you are bounded with his healing is permanent his blessing is permanent nobody could take it from you his mercy and loving kindness is endureth forever that's what this bible says without though thy render mercy for me o lord let thy loving kindness and truth shall continuously preserve me the truth and the loving kindness of god will sustain us will continually preserve us from all the evil no worries look upon to god and he will help us surely when we wait 
upon us like has the bible already already mentioned that those who wait upon the lord shall renew their strength so wait upon the lord you shall renew your strength you shall be blessed your boundaries you will be blessed by your going you will be blessed by your coming the one thing you have to do just wait in the presence of the lord hear the word of god that's what we read in james chapter 5 verse 8 says says you must be patient keep your hope on the high for the day of the lord is coming near the day of the lord is near when the lord's day come he will surely lift us high above everything wait patiently look to god shall we all close our eyes and look to god loving heavenly father we thank you for this wonderful day that you have given us thank you for your mercy thank you for your grace that you have given us as we read in the book of psalms 40 verses 1 i waited patiently to the lord he has inclined to me and heard my cry lord we have to learn to wait to you lord wait patiently to lord we have to wait patiently to you to receive the blessing when your day is coming near we have to be taken to the glory of god and we have to be lifted higher and higher you shall renew our strength as an eagle flying high over the skies singing your praise and glory we lift your name that your name be honored i has is praying in jesus name amen amen thank you and god bless you